Well, Shep, they were apparently both very promising students. Francisco Fernandez, for instance, was a football player, a born competitor, according to his family. Casey Marquez, the other victim, was a cheerleading captain, selected to cheer at the Orange Bowl. And as you look at this terrifying video from inside the school as the shooting was happening, we should tell you that both the victims were, according to police, shot at random, not targeted. They simply happened across paths with the shooter as he roamed the school. New Mexico's governor met with the families of both students. They seem to be just absolutely broken. Uh, I cannot imagine anyone being told that when you send your child to a school that they die in that school because some evil human being took their lives. Now, the governor and other officials say the gunman intended to kill many more, but the quick actions of school staff following lockdown procedures and the police arriving within a minute of the first call saved potentially a lot of lives, Shep. What more did, have you learned about his plans, the shooter's plans? Well, for instance, we know he absolutely intended to die. Police revealing that they found a note in a trash can at his home. It read, 1 to 6.20, work. 6.20 to 7, pack up. 7 to 7.30, prep. 7.30 to 8, walk. 8, die. This person, not only a coward, he's evil. And... You know, in, in my mind, there's, there's so many things wrong with this, and I think it's, uh, it, it, it's just a shame that he wasn't on our, our radar. Uh, I don't think he had as much as a traffic ticket or anything else. He was apparently on the FBI's radar. In March 2016, agents interviewed him regarding a comment he had made on a gaming website, apparently asking, if you're going to commit a mass shooting, does anyone know anything about cheap assault rifles? But Shep, after talking to him and his family, the FBI concluded then no crime had been committed. The shooter at that point owed no, owned no guns and told agents he was joking and had no plans to kill anyone. Shep. Jonathan Hunt in Los Angeles, thanks.